Beam NG Drive, a game that did not get a mention in the second episode of Simpleton. Beam NG is not a rally game, but at the same time, it's a good rally game. The best non rallying rally game. Makes sense? Good. In the end, Confusion is the highest quality commodity you can get from 47. We are taking a dive into this topic because of the comment section where Beam was mentioned. Let the trial of Mr. Beam begin. Beam NG Drive might not strike you as a rally game, mainly because it is not even advertised as one. So let me explain what is Beam NG and how it intervenes with the world of rallying. Beam NG Drive has been around since 2013, developed by Beam NG. The engine of this game, the Beast of the Yeast, is torque 3D, allowing the game to get the job done. It used to run on CryEngine, but some say it was buggy and overall crawful experience. Help me see the problem there. In general, we are talking about a sandbox with plenty of well-detailed cars and maps, with lots of options to play with, mainly with destructive purpose. There is more, like scenarios and campaigns, but they are not the main focus of this video. The game is infamous for morbid car murdering and posting such stuff on YouTube, mainly by a cult called Little Boys. Is that correct, Mr. Beam? It's the soft body physics that allowed this massacre to happen. It's basically if dictators commit massacres, except they got an A in mass. Truly unique experience. While other simulators with great physics have a quite a serious take on racing, Beam is different. Obviously the physics are very realistic, from destroying your clutch to destroying the whole car, but when I mean different, I mean crazy. Just wait for it. Beam NG Drive gives player a lot of content. Maybe it's not rallying, but you can drive a bus. Now what if I told you that this bus has a bomb on board and explosive going less than speeding? Well that escalated quickly. And now you have to get the people out of the bus while going speedy, or just maybe you want to rob a bank and escape police boys while studying all over the place. Or perhaps drift, race, crash, or finally learn manual gearbox if you're American.
or just learn to drive using as little petrol as possible because everyone has to lower their expectations every now and then. Or maybe you want to crawl up the Tahis mountain or a hill because everyone has to lower their expectations every now and then. The choice is really yours. Although I should warn you that the AI sometimes is the dullest tool in the shed of this game. Beam Engine Drive is a game with constant developer support. Just recently a new update added plenty of content, including this vehicular boy. Also, developers are not the only ones creating content for this game. You can download plenty of real car mods for the game, and if none of these suit you, you can create your own car thanks to the cooperation between Beam and Automation, the game. Driving Physics Beam and G-Drive do be having the realism within. Physics are very close to reality. Weight shifting as you go around the corner, locking up wheels, engine braking, clutch biting. It's all there. And more, for example, when you start playing with a clutch. Because when you slowly let the clutch bite, without adding throttle, you can feel the car vibrating through the high quality force feedback. The force feedback is really amazing, and you feel every single impulse you could get from your car. The driving physics are just as good as some other top level sim, except for maybe tire temperature and other more racing related stuff like tire wear and flat tire spots. But it more than makes up for this, as you will understand by the end of this. BMG offers plenty of stuff to do, but not rallying. But where developers do not do the real slim slidey, the community comes to the rescue. And with some mods, we can slide around corners while knowing what is coming up, or at least somewhat fully. First, how do you install such a rally code driver and pace note? Simply. Only thing you need to do is to subscribe to the pace note core and then to the rally mode. Afterwards, restore the game and upon reaching the home screen again, go to the time trials, find your stage, select the car and then drive, ideally forward without crashing. But is it any good? Well, the code driver might be quite hard to understand, so adjusting volume is recommended. But it doesn't matter. You either do not hear him and take the corner too fast, or you do hear him, but he's wrong about the corner anyway, so it doesn't matter. Co-driver in BMNG is as good at being a co-driver as Jesus is at being a Buddhist. Afterwards, it's amazing, both gravel and tarmac feel very good. And the general car movement as you slide around a corner and experience the suspension travel. That feels better than in any other rally sim. Even Mr. Burns takes the L here. It seemed a shame to burn just one thing I hate. Obviously, where BMNG Drive wipes the floor with its opponents is the crashing. Not like this, but this. No game even comes close to this. On the other hand, everything else except pure driving is not satisfying. For example, there is no career mode, stages are work of improvisation, so sometimes they are too easy, and other times the off-road is just a bit too rocky. The co-driver is not amazing and just barely gets the job done. Right, Titans over crest, into six right, into Don't cut, 65 right, 50 junction, six right, wrong, 40 drops, into straight, 76 right. And sometimes the calls combine standard 1 to 6 with words like sharp left or medium right, which is very confusing and leads to many crashes. Or callouts like turn left is my favorite, because it tells you nothing. Immersion is also out of the window, and it feels less like rallying and more like gym can exhibition, except with a hint of confusion, thanks to the co-driver. Although all I see is RBR, in even more purest form, where driving is the alpha and omega of the whole game, and everything else just puts a disappointment on your face. If you would dare to ask whether it is difficult to connect your hardware to this beam boy, the answer would be no, it's easy. Detection works well, and force feedback settings are the ones I would wish to have in every racing game. Customization is the name of the game here, even though the name is Beam AG Drive. If I should recommend Beam AG Drive to a rally simmer, I would recommend it to a simmer who is interested in testing his skills. And not just on rally stages, but also at various scenarios this game has to offer where you can show off your car control. Also, you can experiment and put different engines into your rally car and modify the meme out of it. In the end, this game is not for serious rally driving, but if you want to experiment, have fun and slide around corners in a freewheeler, 
then this game is worth it. Having said that, it doesn't mean that the future for Beam is going to be like this. The railing might get expanded upon, throwing a serious punch at the rally genre, because if Beam turned into a full-fledged rally game, a lot of rally games would be outclassed in probably every way. Downhill, into Herbert Royal Gold Cut, 40, 5 right, 50, 5 left of the buck, 80, go straight, 60, 6 right, Titans, 50, 6 left, 60, turn left, cut, 40, 4 right, long, 40, Titans 40 crest, keep middle 60, 4 right over dip 80, flat left 60, 4 right Titans 60, 4 left 50, 5 right opens 40, 6 right 50, slowly turn left, into turn left, 50, 2 right sharp, 110. Junction acute left 40 5 right 40 Turn left 40 Flat right 100 6 right Long 